Hi Susan. Hi. So now you're going to show us uh, the Forsyth Jenny plier. Yes, and this is it. This is the magical piece of equipment that we've got. And we've got stainless steel posts that fit into here. So you have six posts? We have six posts and they each slot in to a metal sleeve. This one here is for the tilt foot. So that's, a, that's just another short post? Yep, yeah, yeah, it's just a little bit shorter than these. Okay. And it goes into here. And that's the foot? And that's the tilt foot, yes. You see oh, how it's okay. shaped? Yes. Okay, well you can show us how that fits. So now we've got the, the centre post which screws in. The tree? That's it, our little tree with the pigtails. And that's a slight modification. Before we used to have it so that it wasn't screwed in, it used to be pushed in, right? Yes, and it wasn't it wasn't very stable. Sometimes it would come out depending on the weather. Yeah, yeah, the humidity and how the wood swelled. Okay, so we've made an improvement there. And now we put the tilt foot on. What the tilt foot, and there's a hole on the other side okay. of the base. And that's to put the, the base at an angle. So that when we put our bobbins on, we get a little bit of friction on the post. Because they're, because they're at an angle. They're at an angle, so we get yeah. friction up and down the inside of the, inside of the bobbin. Okay. That stops them from spinning, backward spinning, All right. or spinning too fast. Okay. Now the last time we did this video, you actually put a small amount of fibre underneath the bobbin, didn't you? Yes, if this isn't enough, and sometimes this isn't enough just for the friction, we just want to wrap a little bit of fibre around our finger, like this. And then we just drop it over the post. And then drop your bobbin on, and that puts a little bit more friction. A little bit of resistance to stop it spinning too quickly. Yes. Okay, all right. Yeah. So what's the purpose? I mean, this, this is like a kate, isn't it? A it bobbin is. kate? It is. It is a, a lazy kate, yes. But it's, it's actually for a specific purpose. So when we start spinning, so here I've got a full bobbin. It's just a natural brown wool. But when I first started spinning, my tension will be different when I get relaxed into spinning, so maybe an hour later it'll be slightly different than if I stop, make a lunch, like your lunch, or have a cup of tea and then get back into it again, my tension changes again. And all the way through this bobbin, I'm going to have just different tensions, the inconsistency in the single. So what we need to do to, to spread out those inconsistencies is to put this one bobbin full of singles onto many bobbins of these little bobbins and then we can ply from these bobbins and when we pick up and use different little mini bobbins then we've got the inconsistencies spread out throughout the the uh, plied yarns. We'd only need one spinning wheel bobbin. So how many bobbins do, does a wheel normally come with? Three. Okay. So generally you cut, it has three bobbins. Sometimes four and sometimes only two but generally three. Okay. But if you want to do a four ply, now you've got to buy extra bobbins. Right. To do a four ply on the Jimmy plier is really easy because you just load up these bobbins. Okay. And three of these bobbins will take will use up probably all of this all on this bobbin. Oh, that's right. You can get about two ounces onto onto each of those uh, plastic bobbins. Yes, you can. Okay. Yeah. And, then, and those plastic bobbins you can pick up just about any... Well, they, these are weaving bobbins. All right. The, the Claire weaving bobbins. Okay. So yes, they can be picked up anywhere. Extra thick. The kit comes with six of them. Okay. So if you want to try out a six ply, you can. Okay. So, uh, and what's the other part? This is, the, this is what we call the pod. And the pod is the piece that enables us to use the spinning wheel 
to transfer from our spinning wheel bobbin onto our mini bobbins the singles that we want to ply with. So that's your bobbin winder? Yes it is. And that's you're using it. your spinning wheel to wind the bobbins, okay? We are, yes. Right. Yeah. Now, so, this, this, is a cert, this is a certain size, it's a standard size that we make. And we tried to to tried it out on many different spinning wheels. So we've kind of got um, an adapter that would would enable us to use a very large orifices. Let me take this off here first. But we still need a cushion for it because it's still not. So then, that's a latex rubber cushion that allows you to. Use that tapered shaft in different size orifices. Yes. yes. And what's the size of the orifices we think that they'll fit into? 8mm to 11mm. Okay, so the, wheel, the wheels you have here are the Lendrum. This is the Lendrum. Okay, and the other wheel you're going to use today? Is, is the Jensen Tina 2. Alright, okay. So we've got actually the largest orifice. The Ashford is the same size as the Lendrum, I think, or it has been. So I put the cushion on part way. Now I'm going to test it to see if I can get it into the orifice. It needs to go in and just give it just a little bit of a twist and if it stays then that's the perfect place to put it. Okay. So that's just enough tightness for it to spin as you as you treadle? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so now if we want to fit it to the Jensen now what I'm going to do is take off this cushion because this cushion is too big for the Jensen orifice. And what I'm going to use instead is just a piece of tissue. So I'm just going to wrap this. Just wrap it around like this. And this puts just a little bit of resistance. And it's like a it is like a pin. Hold the flyer, twist the bobbin, the pod, sorry, and there it stays. And that's that again. That's just enough to make it to hold it in position while you while you're using the uh, pod and spinning. Yes, because once this goes on, we need it to be safe in there. But we still need to once we start treadling with this, then we will need to support this. Okay. All right. Thank you.